This ain't advice. I'm not your advisor. And as they say in the biz, slap that subscribe button. We're only about 10 hundred thousand away from a million. We're almost there. Welcome to another episode of Buck Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get to today's question. Are there pros to filing taxes separately as a married couple? Uh, your wife and you have always filed together. You don't have any kids. Your wife is a corporate lawyer and still getting her salary. That's good. That's good. You started a company last year and made very little money. Uh, you'll probably shut it down because of coronavirus. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Since she makes good money and you make very little money, is there a reason to consider filing your taxes separately? You own a house, which probably complicates things. So there, there can be reasons. And most, most tax softwares, most uh, tax professionals, they run the numbers both ways and then just file whichever way is better. There's something called the marriage bonus and the marriage penalty. And generally speaking, people in a situation like you are in are in the marriage bonus where married filing jointly will be less in taxes than if you filed your on your own. Basically, you get to take some of her income and you pull it into your tax brackets, which are very low, and that's a good thing. For two people who both have medium to high incomes, in a lot of cases, there can actually be a penalty where you will pay more than if you were filing separately. And sometimes they'll, there will be rules in the tax code where... Just the fact that you're married, even filing separately won't let you get out of that. If you were both single, you would have been better off. That's sort of rare, and it's really only for two high earner couples. Um, but I doubt you're in that scenario. If you're doing it yourself, uh, your taxes, I mean, you should probably be running the numbers both ways. And if you're dealing with a professional, they're probably running them both ways for you.